Good morning, friends, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. I am just making my coffee this morning, and I'm going to run to the Target that is closest to the new house. It's like maybe 14 minutes from the new house and I just want to scout it out. I typically go, if you're familiar with Charlotte, the Metro Target because that one's like a minute from our house here. Um, it's the one right in the city. You have to park in a parking garage and I love it and we'll still go to it. However, I find that it gets picked over really quickly and sometimes it is hit and miss how crowded it is even at 7 a.m. So uh, I'm gonna try this one out see if I like it and yeah all right I'm gonna get my coffee get my shoes all those things it's like 20 degrees so I want to run downstairs and find a knit hat to wear and then we will rock and roll I am back from running some errands and because this week is gonna be crazy with the house I got just a bunch of like frozen stuff from Trader Joe's for dinners this week. I figure the simpler, the better. Then I ran to Target. I didn't really need anything except like toothpaste, <laughs> some socks. I want to try this toffee oat milk creamer and then they had a handful of these left. I've already ordered the vinyl online so I wanted to get a copy of the book. All right, let me get this put away. Oh, also at Trader Joe's I got a set of live greens and then a rosemary tree. I have a perfect spot for this in the new house and I love getting a rosemary tree every year. And then I have to run to the new house because I accidentally changed our address in Amazon because I ordered chairs that are gonna take a little while to get there, but I shipped other things <laughs> to the house. So we're gonna go grab that stuff. I am not gonna show too much, but I just got to the new house to grab my Amazon delivery. Um, this is the backyard and it has a total secret garden vibe. It's hard to believe when you just hear birds chirping that we are in the city. Obviously, all of this needs taken care of. All these boxwoods need groomed. And then one thing that I am thinking about, look at this arched shrub. I'm going to transplant this boxwood over into this section and then I'm going to do like a little paver like like um like a jaggedy stone patio and a bistro set in here. How amazing. I just think it is so fun. But think English garden, um, this hillside all being like wild fly flowers and like very um, like English. But obviously some things we need to get cleaned up. Like I said, this house was built in 1940s and was completely redone. Um, but the landscaping is still very mature and has been around like these shrubs will look so much better once those shoots are taken care of and then all these boxwoods like how they come through here all those trimmed and shaped so nicely will look so good and then anything that's dead will be taken out and then i'm thinking down here we're gonna build a shed and probably like some sort of entertaining fire pit area, but everything is all tree-lined and super private. And there's even this little pathway here in the back. And 
and like all of these holly branches I can cut for arrangements in the winter. Like look how beautiful. So there's so much foliage and then this is all lining the house. So I'm really excited to get in here and have space to garden and make it our own. We are going to have people come and do the first clean out of this yard for us, both the front and the back. Obviously we can't trim the shrubs until the spring because I don't want to expose all that new growth, but I'm just thinking about how beautiful all these will look when they're all maintained and trimmed. I just, I can't wait to like set a Thanksgiving table and use all of this. And then what I'm most excited about is I also have all of the cedar greenery to use and make wreaths. I, I can't wait. This is just a little glimpse of our area. I love this little step down. So one thing we were saying is at the bottom of this little staircase for there to be like a little patio here as well. So, so much potential. Like I said, the inside is all done and essentially brand new. So we get to really focus on making this really beautiful and being here, we'll be able to use it all the time throughout the year. So that's a little, little sneak peek of the new house. All right, I thought I would show you a little bit of what I've been working on for the house. Uh, if it is in the picture, it's been ordered except for this black cabinet. I haven't decided I wanna be in the space before I decide if I want this piece yet. But everything else will start delivering this coming weekend or it has already been delivered. So the main living floor is very open concept. We have a living room, a formal sitting room, a dining room, and then the kitchen. It's all very open. So a couple things I'm doing to keep it cohesive is all the furniture has pretty modern lines. I want to go a little bit more modern with then some traditional pieces mixed in. And then I'm also using the same area rug in all of the spaces and pulling colors from that rug as the palette. So this rug probably looks familiar to the one we have in our living room now, and it's going to be mirrored throughout the home in the open spaces. So this here that you're seeing is our formal sitting room. So this blue velvet chair, I love this sofa the instant I saw it. I love the line of the arms. And then a more traditional coffee table, which is actually in our garage right now. These two modern chairs that are like a really pretty brown. And then this brass table. So that's kind of the formal sitting room. And the formal sitting room has a white and marble uh, fireplace that is pretty traditional. So I'm thinking of anchoring each side of that fireplace with a more modern piece. So I'm toying with potentially two of these on the side of the fireplace. I have about 40 inches to work with. So if I don't find a piece, I'm also considering some custom built-ins, but there are already custom built-ins in the living room uh, that is adjacent to it. So not sure if that's the route I'm going to go, but that's the formal sitting room. I am obsessed with this coffee table. It is beautiful. I also try to do some clean lines as well as some glass just to keep it feeling airy and open. This is our living room furniture. So I wanted to make sure, and I have these side by side to make sure they all kind of flow. Once again, you're going to see the way I'm keeping it is similar fabrics, but as well as a similar squared off arm shape. I fell in love with this sofa. It's like a burned out, distressed gray velvet, just so beautiful. 
and then a big oversized fabric ottoman, this marble table, and then that chair and ottoman for Stephen. Once again, pulling colors from this um, rug, but still it feels like it flows very, very well together, which thrills me. A couple things that you want to think about with furniture. So do you see how this is closed legged so you don't see the legs, it sits directly on the floor? You wanna make sure then that you have pieces that very much balance that out. So if I had like a block coffee table with these chairs, it would become very heavy, but the glass on here as well as the open legs really lets the room breathe a little bit. That's why I also lean towards this piece with the open legs where it would breathe a little bit. I don't want something so heavy that's going to sit flat like a regular bookcase because these two chairs and this sofa all sit flat. When you think about this piece, it also has a closed leg. So it was really important for me to find chair, a chair for Steven that had like a very open feeling to it because this marble table is also considerably heavy. So thinking about those pieces, making sure that there's some closed legs as well as open legs so not everything feels so heavy and there's a little bit of lightness to it. Then you move into our bedroom and once again I'm mirroring that same rug just because I love the way this rug plays off this furniture. So this bed is stunning. If you can see, there are actually hand carved wood, like not legs, <laughs> uh, that kind of lift and support the bed. And then we went with a very like mushroom light upholstery. And then I love that it picks up on the two side tables that we already have. They no longer make these. They're called the Penelope table. And it's really hard to find good oval pieces. So I was really happy with this because once again, the bed, although lifted slightly is pretty low to the floor. I wanted to make sure that our side tables as well as this chair down here are lifted up so that it can breathe a little bit. And then also like a very light brass table that then pulls in the brass from this space as well. So you can see how these three rooms are kind of flowing together and how pieces pick up, but all anchored by the same rug. Then you move into our dining room. And this is where I'm playing with um, using the same furniture that we had. I didn't want to have to really redo the dining room because it's more traditional, but I thought of ways to really modernize it. So I got some really cool, beautiful brass um, iron and boucle modern chairs. Those are going to be the four chairs at the table. And then I have the white upholstered chairs already. Really modern, clean lined mirror. And then I'm thinking of finding two really beautiful brass lamps. Once again, the brass on the back of these chairs picks up on the brass here. And then also the brass handles here and then the brass, but also within this like little color story of a family. The one thing I have been toying with and I'll show you is the idea. Let's duplicate this really quick. So I've been playing with the idea of even bringing this rug. Let's move it to the back position. Let's go to the back. Even playing with bringing that rug into this space just for a print because it feels a little flat without a print. So playing with that idea, once again, I think it builds a better connection across the spaces. And I just love when you have an open floor plan to do the same rug. And then lastly, something I've really been playing with is we have a beautiful stairwell because both um, floors of our house are completely finished. And we have this stairwell that's actually really, really special. It goes down and then splits on a landing and goes in two directions. And the ceiling is so high in it and it needs a little dramatic moment. So I've been thinking about bringing this crane wallpaper into that stairwell with this light hanging down to really give that space some really cool character because it has still some of the original molding 
and it's beautiful and like a creamy, stunning white. And there's a really geometric um, runner on the carpet on the stairs that is really beautiful. So I'm thinking of bringing some brass stair runner um, bars across the steps, bringing this brass light in, and then doing this wallpaper throughout the stairwell. So that is this house design. It definitely has a very much more modern feel, but I really love how it came together. Someone asked if I went with a designer. This is my passion, so I've been planning and doing this all myself. This hasn't been ordered. I wanna get in the space and get a couple wallpaper samples. We'll probably do that during Vlogmas. All of this we already had. These chairs have been ordered. All of this is ordered. All of this is ordered. And all of these pieces, except for this black table um, stand is ordered. So that is a little bit of my thought process around designing this new house. And I think it's going to be quite beautiful. What I ended up trying to do is this wood is a little grayish, which I don't love. There is a lot of warmth to it, but I figured this rug made it feel a little bit warmer. And I also tied in the same color with the upholstery of the bed with the color of that set. So I think it all still really, really works. And pairing this with that white, it makes it feel a little more warm and have a little bit more depth. And this is much better representation of the color than the table, but that was the best picture of the table I could find. All right, that is a little bit of the house sneak peek, but we will be putting it all together in the coming weeks and days. Steven took Mabel for a quick walk. I am going to go hop on the treadmill and work out and then we will see what we get into after that. I just got ready. I am going to go work out and then I'll catch you up. I'm rocking my new The Bar sweatshirt. I got it in red and in green. They're so stinking comfortable. Uh, yeah, and then I might start a little bit of packing. I haven't decided. What I'm thinking is I'll just have like six bins and rotate them out, fill them, take them, bring them back, is what I'm thinking. Instead of like boxing everything, because I'm probably gonna just try to move all the little stuff myself and then hire movers for the big things. Um, and then we're gonna leave some stuff here in this place. So, not gonna move at all. Alrighty, I thought we would go ahead and do advent calendars. I'm reading Everyone This Christmas Has a Secret. It is so good. I have a Kindle scribe and I love it. Here are some of my stickers. I don't really use the writing function. I just love the size, the way it feels in my hand. I enjoy it thoroughly. So let's go ahead and do day two. I think some. <laughs> oh, this is why I shouldn't have bought this on Amazon. Um, we're having a little bit of an issue. <laughs> there were two in this one. Um, we have Visual Antique, bleep, Taylor, and we also have a Evermore Taylor. Amaze Pants, all right. Pour some sugar on me In the name of love Pour some sugar on me Alrighty Let's see Sparkle Pops Perfection Joe Malone We still have to wait for also, I did have a piece of candy from the seas. I have never heard of it before, but it was delicious. Day two. It's going to be another truffle of some kind. Oh, this might be my favorite this year. And then day two of our stationery is another Lamy pen. 
The Lamy pens are so good. Day three, day three. Look at me already jumping days. Day two. Okay, wait, now I'm perplexed and befuddled. Okay, I got this really cute horse, but how do I, how do I make him stand up? Oh, I think I know. I think you bend a leg like so, and then he stands. <laughs> oh, this one might be an adventure, but that's really cute. We have to move the Nespresso down to here, but we have day two over here. Oh, I really like this one. This is the roasted hazelnut. Delicious, I can have that in the morning. I need to get those greens in a vase. Also, I went ahead and threw the rosemary tree in that. I can't wait to put that in the new house. All right, I have to go grab a vase for these greens. This is a great way to get that smell even if you have an artificial tree. But <laughs> I'm taking so much time to fix that when like everything else is a little in disarray. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do with you if we're gonna try to... So I thought of moving this tree in like the sections the problem with that is I ran an extra set of lights in it. So it has like one continuous thread. I can't just like disconnect the sections. So I might just have to take it all apart, but that idea feels like a lot. I might just leave it up here and put it up a different one at the next house. Oi. Those decisions will have to be made at a later time. So, also, I don't know if you guys remember, several Vlogmases ago, many moons ago, I bought one of these at Michael's and spray painted it matte black. Well, in the move, the antler broke. I can't find it, although I know we saved it. So, I got this one on sale and it's the same guy. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this. So the big trend this year were was oversized bows. So I made this one out of navy blue tulle. It's all zip tied and then just command hooked. And then what I actually did is put little T-pins on each end in the drywall and I made this bow. Super easy. So I just basically did a smaller rectangle then a little bit bigger, then a little bit bigger, three sections to give it structure, zip tied it, took a piece, wrapped it around, zip tied it, and then made two tails. And got this effect. Really cute. Alrighty. We'll do her advent calendar a little bit later. Dinner's gonna be super simple tonight. I'm gonna try to get some of this tidied up. My face might look a little red. I actually went and had a dermaplane treatment and um, 
then some serum put on. And for Vlogmas, these two little fellas decided to show up. I can count on like one hand how many pimples I get in a year, and I got two. I'm assuming it is from Thanksgiving, and yeah. Um, anyway, the advent calendars are open. I feel like this vlog is actually pretty long, but Mabel, let's get a plate. Looky, what is this? What is this? What is this? It's day two. Can you sniff it out? It's right here. It's right here. Let's see. Oh, she's eating it. I still got a plate out just in case. Oh, we're not eating it. So help me if she eats it off the plate. She ate the one on the plate. That's so odd. Let's see if she eats the other one now that I put it on the plate. She is such a funny. <laughs> she is such a funny girl. Well, my friends, I am going to sign off because I feel this vlog is already pretty long, but take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give it to everyone until next time, which will be tomorrow.